In this lecture, we talk about multinomial logistic regression. Now, if your response variables are not ordered, then we use multinomial logistic regression instead of ordinal logistic regression. So, let me give an example of ordered response. So, for ordered response, you could have a response like this. So, the response variables are no, maybe and yes. So, there is an order to it. Similarly, large number of surveys have response variables which have order to it from say disagree to strongly agree. So, there is an order to it. If you have an order, then you use ordinal logistic regression. But in case you do not have order in response variables, your response variables are not ordered, then you use multinomial logistic regression. So for most of the surveys where the response variable is ordered, you will end up using ordinal logistic regression. So let us give an example for multinomial logistic regression. So say you have data on students. So this is student one. For student one, his socioeconomic status is low. His reading score is 34.5, his writing score is 35.6, his math score is 41.8 and he chooses a diploma. There is another student too. His socioeconomic status is middle, his reading score is 34.3, his writing score is 33.7. You have his math score and he chooses a general program. Then there is a student 3. He comes from a higher socioeconomic status. His reading score is 39.3. You have his writing score, you have his math score, and he chooses a honors program. Now the question is that if someone gives you the socioeconomic status of a student, the reading score of a student, the writing score of a student, and the math score of a student, can you make a model which will give you the probability of the student choosing diploma, general, or an honors program. The student could choose any of the three programs. Uh, he could choose a diploma, he could choose a general, or he, or he could choose an honors program. But we want to build a model in which we have the probabilities associated with diploma, general, and honors given the student's socioeconomic status, reading score, writing score, and math score. So all these variables are predictor variables. So they are going to predict the response of the student and these are the response variables. So the response here in this case is diploma, general or honors. So notice that you cannot put an order to these three. So you cannot say one is better than two and two is better than three or something like that. There is no order possible here and that is precisely why we are going to use multinomial logistic regression in this case. Now let us do everything in R. So the first thing is that you clear the memory. So this command is to clear the memory. And then you require this command for running your multinomial logistic regression. So first we read the table. So this is the address. This is the name of the file. Header is true because I have already put this header in my file. Now first thing you do is you re-level this and you put a reference as honors. So all the output will be compared with the base case of honors. Now, this will make more sense as we go further down in the, in the example. And so we are uh, now putting this M11 as program 2. So uh, this program is now changed to program two. So instead of this column, you have program two here. So the column is as such. We just putting it as program two because we are going to analyze everything with respect to the base case of honors. So that is the only thing we have done here. So there is nothing special here. We are just putting the base case as honors. Now you run the multinomial command. So this is multinomial, this program two, this is our program originally program two. Uh, then this is your response variable and you always tilde it to predictor variables. So predictor variables is socioeconomic status, writing score, reading score 
and the math score and data is m11 this is your data Let's put right here so now this will run in r uh, and it will show it converged that is basically it is trying to minimize running a minimization kind of a routine uh, to have the best fit here so this doesn't mean uh, anything for analysis just shows that you know uh, the values are decreasing and it finally converges so now we come here now we want to we have the model here so this is our model so m2 is the model which what it will do is you will give it socioeconomic status writing score reading score and math score so this you will feed in model m2 so you feed it in this is your predictor variable feed it in and m2 will spit out the probability that the person will do uh, diploma general or honors so you feed uh, these things in it will spit out three probabilities and obviously some of these three probabilities would be one so we have made a model using multinomial now let us do some predictions which will make more sense to understand how do we use this multinomial logistic regression so first you set up w1 as mean of the writing score so you take all the writing score in your entire table and find its mean then r1 is the mean of the reading score so you take all the reading scores in your table and find their mean and ma1 is the mean of all the math scores there is nothing special about it i could have written some values here but i'm just taking mean uh, for the sake of it so now you put in new data so now you will put in some data and so socioeconomic status is low middle and high uh, then writing score is w1 which is this mean reading score is r1 which is the mean here and math score is the mean of math scores here so let us now print this new data so we have this new data frame uh, say you have the student one you have just uh, made this data frame for your benefit so you could have put in any scores you wanted to but here we are putting specific writing reading and math score you could have put any vectors here so that doesn't matter so socioeconomic status is low writing score is 58.2545 reading score is again uh, the mean of the reading score math score is the mean of all the math scores similarly for student 2 similarly for student 3 so you have the writing scores reading scores and the math scores and you have found the uh, average values of those you have fed in so you are going to feed in these three values into your model here so this is your model so you're going to feed these three values into the model so first you feed in this value student one so the model will spit out so you feed this value into your model m2 and the model will spit out these probabilities so this is predict model m2 this right here the model m2 new data is this new data frame you have put in and you want probabilities so you put in first row in the model it will spit out three probabilities so if the person's writing score is 58.25 reading score is 57.7 math score is 58.12 his socioeconomic status is low his probability of going to the honors program is 0 0.50 going to diploma is 0.14 going to the general program is 0 0.34 then you feed in row 2 into your model then it will again spit out these numbers 0.49 is the probability of going into honors program 0.26 is the probability of going into diploma 0.24 is the probability of going into general now you put in spit in the third row and then you have again uh, probabilities associated with it which come out now we have just put in uh, these uh, same write read and math scores your write scores are same read scores are same and math scores are same so that you can see what is the difference between socioeconomic status so now you can see that you know if the person is from higher socioeconomic status if the reading score writing score and math score is same then this person is more likely to pursue a honors program so this is 0 0.68 whereas if the person is from low or the middle background then there is not much probability difference between 
between whether the person chooses honors or not you know this is 0.50 and this is 0.49 so you can keep on changing this uh, writing score reading scores and math scores in your data frame you keep changing the score so instead of 58 you can write here 60 instead of uh, 57 you can write 65 so you know you can change this to say 65 you can change this to 38 and then feed it in and find the corresponding probabilities so the model basically takes in uh, predictor variables and gives you probability for the response variables so these are the response variables and these are the predictor variables so we have been able to construct a multinomial model m2 we now talk about the statistical validity of the model so first you see the coefficients so these are the coefficients of the model you exponentiate it to get the odds ratio then you have the confidence interval of the model again you exponentiate it so in the standard confidence interval if you have a zero in the confidence interval you drop that variable because you say it is not statistically significant in the logistic regression you take exponentiate the confidence interval so you see the exponentiate is here so this becomes one so if one is in the confidence interval then you drop that variable so your coefficients are two rows diploma and general notice that there is no honors here because all these are odds ratio which are compared to honors so honors is the base case so we'll come back to that later so first focus on this first row of diploma so the confidence intervals for diploma are given right here so intercept anyway doesn't make sense in logistic regression so we are going to cut it out so SES low it goes from 0.48 to 5.7 it has a 1 in it so this doesn't make sense this goes from 1.08 to 8.8 .8. so this does not have 1 in it so this we will keep the writing scores goes from 0.9 to 1.007 it has 1 in it so you drop this reading score goes from 0.9 to 1.01 .01 this has one in it so you drop it math score goes from 0.8 to so this is 10 to the power of minus 1 so this is essentially 0.966 so 0.84 to 0.966 so one is not in it so you keep this so for interpretation we cannot interpret this this you have to keep the writing score doesn't make sense the reading score doesn't make sense the math score you keep so now for the second row the general case SES low it goes from 0.833 to 6.82 so there is a 1 in it so drop this this goes from 0.67 to 4.33 again 1 in it drop this writing score goes from 0.933 to 1.04 has 1 in it drop this reading score goes from 0.92 to 1.02 again has one in it drop it math score goes from 0.88 to 0.999 this does not have one in it keep it so for general case you drop everything except the math score so immediately you should look at your model and in your model you should decrease your response variables. so right now you have the response variables which take reading and writing into account so you can take these uh, two variables out so you drop these variables this variable and this variable because they're not statistically significant so whatever impact they're having on probability is as good as having zero impact so get rid of these two variables and uh, you should not get rid of socioeconomic status although SES low is uh, not showing up as significant but there is some significance of uh, middle socioeconomic status and therefore you should keep this so let us now interpret these odds ratio so let us uh, interpret this a this ratio so first notice that if the odds ratio is less than one that means it is working against you so that means one unit increase in math score will adversely impact
chances of getting diploma impact chances of diploma versus versus our base case which is honors so that is if the math score increases by one unit the person is less likely to take a diploma degree or you can say in other words if the math score increases by one unit the person is more likely to take an honors degree compared to a diploma degree similarly for this this is less than one so that means if there is a one unit increase in math score it will adversely impact the chances of taking a general program compared to honors program so that is it uh, for the interpretation of uh, these odds ratio now the only thing left is now the socioeconomic status middle so interpret this you have to see what is missing here so ses high is missing so this is compared to ses high so if the person moves from higher socioeconomic status to middle socioeconomic status then his chances of going into a diploma program is positively impacted so see 3.1 is greater than 1 so if the person moves from high ses to middle ses then the chances of that person attending a diploma program is increased tremendously so the odds ratio is 3.1 so positively impacted so this was less than one so this was adversely impacted so this is positively impacted because it's greater than one so we have been able to interpret this so the at the end of the day you should have a new model in which the program is the response variable and uh, two scores you want is socioeconomic status and the math score so that is two predictor variables socioeconomic status and math so you drop the writing score and you drop the reading score because they are not statistically significant so this is a smaller model and this is the model you should run